Hello guys, welcome to HackingThePerimeter.com's tutorial on how to share a folder from your Mac and actually access it in your XP virtual machine. So the first thing is on our Mac we've got a folder and in our case it's called file.rtf, that's a rich text file and as you can see it just says this is my awesome file it can be any file you want, pictures, media, etc. So the first thing you actually want to do is if you go into the settings in your virtual machine, go over to the network, make sure the network is actually set to bridged adapter. This will ensure that your virtual machine has an IP address allocated so your real computer, which is the virtual, uh, sorry, which is the uh, MacBook, um, will actually be able to talk to your virtual machine. So just make sure that is set to uh, bridged. And then once you've done that, just make sure you've uh, hit the OK button. Um, go over to shared folders. And what I'm going to do is basically select, uh, just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm actually going over to this little plus symbol over here. Click the plus symbol, go over to the folder path, on the drop down menu select other then navigate to your desktop and t uh, just click the folder which in my case it's called awesome folder inside is the file so just select the folder click choose in my case I'm just going to hit read only which means I can't delete the file or alter the file from XP so hit OK hit OK again and now it's actually time to start Windows XP as a virtual machine. So it should load up relatively quickly. So just give it a second to load up. And just while that's actually uh, loading in the background, just do uh, an if config on your uh, MacBook Pro. And if you have a look at your IP address under N1, uh, in my case, it's 192.168.0.3. So I'm going to do a clear now and just get ready to ping my uh, real machine. So first of all, let's go over to start, run, type in CMD. And once you're in here, just type in IP config. Notice that Mac is if config and for Windows, it's IP config. So... I'm going to ping this uh, IP address up here. It's 192.168.0.7. And at the moment, it says there's a, a timeout request. So that's not actually a good sign. But let me try from the Windows side to actually ping the Mac now. So ping 192.168.0.3. And I actually do get a reply. So what this means is I've kind of got like one-way traffic over to uh, the Mac. So if you're getting a little bit confused, don't worry. What you need to do now is go to uh, Windows Explorer. This can be found in all programs. Oops. This can be found in all programs and accessories. But I've just made a shortcut here. So go to Windows Explorer, go over to My Network Places, just click the plus symbol, make sure you hit the plus. And again, same thing for your entire network. Let me just close this pop-up window in the background. Okay, and you should see something called the Virtual Box Shared Folders. So if you just hit the plus symbol once more, you'll see uh, backslash backslash, which indicates it's a network, a uh, computer on the network. Uh, VBox server, which is VirtualBox server, plus symbol again, plus symbol one more time, and you'll actually see now that we've created um, a link, a network link, over to the awesome folder. So, as you can see, I can go into this uh, awesome folder now, which is the same one you can see on my desktop on the Mac. I can drag the file uh, over onto my XP machine and I should be able to open that file so I'm just going to wait for it to open 
And as you can see, it's just about to start opening now uh, with LibreOffice, which is quite a good Office suite. I know it's a bit off topic, but definitely check it out. It's uh, open source. Uh, let's hit cancel for that. Let's... Oh, there we go. And there we go. This is my awesome file. So that's uh, a really quick kind of tutorial on how you actually share files uh, within uh, your Mac over to your virtual machine. So I really hope this helps. Check out hackingtheperimeter.com. The link will be in the description. And hopefully there'll be more tutorials to come. So thank you.